Hey everyone, have you heard of Craftably before? Well, whether you have or you haven't, I'm here to show you a couple of things that they carry. And if you have, then you might notice a couple of things that have changed. So if you want to find out what they are, stick around and I'll be right back. Okay, this is something that I purchased from Craftably, and it's a project that isn't diamond painting, and but it's something that uh, some of us have challenged each other to do for something different. Um, I'll show you that in a minute, but first I want to show you one of their new diamond painting boxings. Okay, uh, if you have ordered from Craftably before, you you will remember or you may know that they sent their diamond paintings out in big white tubes. I've done a couple of unboxings from them before, so I'll link them up here in the, um, it, they, it should pop up here on the screen, up in that corner there. Um, and then they switched over to these, these plastic tubes that were telescopic that you could reuse. Um, the white ones were cardboard, were really thick, hardy cardboard. And um, they are a small business, so they found that you know they can't do those those plastic tubes anymore i know they did it for over a year um, you can still buy the tubes if you want for an additional price but um, now they are sending their diamond paintings out in these boxes they sent me this one with my last order that i received to show you um, what the new boxes look like i most people do send their diamond paintings out in boxes um so you know it's just as good as a tube most of the time depends on where you're buying it from but craftably does use um licensed images they are on the up and up i actually met them in person a couple of times at the different retreats that i've been to and um this image right here actually is a shutterstock image so that is a um image that anyone you can purchase the image to use or um, I don't know how it works but I know that it, it isn't like a specific licensed person but they do carry a lot of licensed um, artists like in particular one in particular that is my favorite is Jasmine Beckett Griffith and um, I have um, every single one of her images that they have come out with I have purchased but this, this is a little koala kit, and here is what the boxes look like. Lots of purple, my favorite color, and it's got um, information about how to diamond paint right, right here on the back, and it's got a little quote from Amy. She is one of the owners, her and her husband. They are in Texas, and they actually have a brick and mortar shop that you can walk into if you live where they are, which is Fort Worth. And you can walk right in and shop for diamond paintings and shop for some of their other crafting materials that they sell. They have quite a bit of stuff. I have a code down below. I am an affiliate with them. And if you um, want to check out what they have, you can use my code to get a discount for your first purchase so um yeah i'll link it down below and let you guys can check it out check out the store they carry a lot of diamond paintings and they're expanding on their other crafts as well they have um quilling and they have uh i, I had the whole list in my head and now i just can't remember um clay uh, polymer clay and they have <laughs> other stuff that I'm going to show you out of this box here in a minute but um, yeah check them out you'll see what I'm talking about it's just craftably.com but like I said it, I have a code down below and even if you have purchased below before to help me out if you want to use my link it will help me um, yeah if you use my link I'd appreciate it so let's see what this little kit looks like. I think it's a little kit. Uh, it says it's a 14 inch by 14 inch round. So approximately, I'd say 32 centimeters, something like that. 
It's funny because I don't use centimeters and meters at all in my daily life. But when it comes to diamond paintings, I only know their size relevant, how big they are or whatnot, by using centimeters. Okay, so that's what's in the box. Here is their toolkit, which I love these bags. I've reused them. I have several of them, and I keep things in them and they are wonderful to reuse they're made out of this really soft burlap i mean it's purple it's awesome and it's not rough or anything like you'd think burlap would be and let's see what they got we've got our washi tape and they actually give you two rolls of washi tape get to the other one and this one's got some stars on it really cute this one has like christmas presents just in time for the holiday season and they give you a little round container with wax in it and then they give you a cover minder it's taped shut so let me get my little handy dandy cutter tool Cut that tape off so I can open it. <laughs> if I can open it, maybe I didn't cut it enough. I don't want to cut the latch itself. Oh, that's why it's not opening because the latch is still taped down. There we go. There we go. I got to flip that latch up. All right, so the cover menu I got. Oh, is this cute little. Uh, raindrop this one's a red one really cute little guy and what else do we got in here here is the toolkit and i guess i don't know if they still have the option but you used to be able to just you know let them know if you wanted the toolkit or not and you can choose not to have that um, they did at one point have it where you could choose to have the plastic bag to go with the kit or not. I don't know if those, I mean, that makes a lot of work for them to, you know, instead of just having every kit the same to choose whether they want to have, if you want to have it or not. So I don't know if they kept doing that. Uh, let's see, you get a seven and a four thin placer. These are really good to have because they wear down. And you get two pieces of really light purple, two squares of light purple wax, in addition to this wax guy here. So this is like the purple kit. You get a purple squishy. And I got a clear, well, I don't know if they're all purple, because this is the first kit I've opened with a new uh, design. And you, I got a clear drill pin and another four placer on the top of that. And these squishies are good for people who like to use these thin pins to keep your fingers from getting sore from just using the plain pen. And then you get a purple tray. It's a purple Mosfa tray, which I've never seen. And it's got some gold sparkles in there. Guard gold glitter. The Mosfa. And you get a pair of purple tweezers. I don't know if they're all purple, but I got a pair of purple tweezers. And these pointy guys are really good for picking up square yeah. drills because um, I have a hard time with squeezing tweezers for a long period of time. What I like to do is just a little trick I do is I like to put the um, my squishy on here. This might be too wide. Nope. And then I put it on here. It's about like right there. So it makes it so much easier to get my drills pick my drills up with it because that's a big difference between that little gap there and how big it is for all that squeezing you have to do so that's just a tip of the day that could help someone I know it helped me when somebody had suggested it a long time ago and it does come with that protective cap which is always good to keep on when you're not using them all right so that's our toolkit and we'll set that aside and we will look at this little canvas. All right, 
looks like I have not opened a kit from Craftably in a while. And the one I'm working on is I'm still trying to find all the, the drills and stuff to it. So I totally forgot how nice their canvases are. It's a really soft material. Let's see, does it say what kind it is? Um, it says premium soft back canvas. It's got an upgraded beginner toolkit. That's what, I guess that's upgraded when it comes in this. And instruction guide for beginners. And it's got useful accessories, sticker, sticker label sheets, poured glue, no, no double-sided adhesive, clear symbols, and high resolution printing up to 80 colors. So some kits can have up to 80 colors in them. I know the one I'm working on has 60. Okay, and it's got tape. So let me cut this tape off like so. All right. And let's open this baby up. Let's see here. Oh, wow. This is a new sticker sheet. Uh, it didn't come. It was different before. It just had this like this. I'm trying to push them back down but they're actually rounded and there's a lot of extras on this one there's 43 colors in this little guy so that is a lot of colors so this is probably gonna have a lot of detail to it I can't wait to look at it and look at here we get some extras craftably diamond painting um, extra stickers just cuz they're called just cuz stickers Use these labels to identify your bags of drills, storage containers, or whatever makes you smile while you work. And this is the logbook sticker right here. And I don't have this in my logbook yet, so when I do, I will I will stick this one in there. And it has a space for you to put your start and finish date on it. Isn't that cute? And a diamond here, and a diamond there, and a diamond there. Oh, these are cute. So these are nice bonus things to have. Um, uh, this is new to me because the um, the last tube I got that I opened actually did not have all these extras. I knew they were going to be coming out with it, but I didn't know when I would actually get to see it. So, all right, that's cute. Let's look what else we got in here. Here is the instruction book and it tells you all the different stuff that they have available or ideas it says here are a few accessories many people like to try once they get into diamond painting you can find them at craftably.com and it shows you how to diamond paint and it gives you, they actually have a phone number you can call if you have a customer service issue or problem or question. And gives you all the information about what comes in it. And then we have our drills, which has another sticker right there on it. And this is Claire the Koala. And it, I will actually put another bigger stick, bigger image of this up on the screen here for you. And we've got, look, it's got rhinestones in it. And I will pull those out here in a minute and we'll look at it. Oh, wow. That's actually bigger than I thought. The image itself is just, wow. That is so cute. So this is a round, round drill. And like I said, it's got 43 colors. It looks like... We've got one, two, three, four, four AB and three rhinestone colors. I love that they mix their medias, mix media, mixed media, <laughs> I guess not media, but yeah, this is nice and soft. Scalloped edges, you got a, um, key on the left top left and the bottom right with the, your schematic and it gives you the license information down here 
and their guarantee is don't be stuck with a project you hate if you have any problems or decide you don't like this kit reach out to us that's pretty good that's awesome share your progress and make sure to post photos of your work as you progress and tag us online for a chance to be featured on our website awesome so let's see which ones are going to be a b and then i can show you what they look like it well let's see a b is going to be the o so we've got a b is these little white dots here on the background of the canvas you can see some o's and then you've got a bunch of them right here around the ear you got some in the ear part and in all these flowers well this flower that one and this one and you got them um, in this one as well here and this one you got it the center of the eyes and then this portion so I'm guessing it's a white color obviously well it looks obviously to me because it's white on the canvas so that's a B and so is that and then you've got around here and there's some in the butterfly over here around this part and then some in this flower here and this one and all these flowers here have the white a b and then yeah it's white and then there's a pink a green and a blue so the next one is the pink which is p so we got it in the rosies of the cheeks right here sorry my light batteries died so i have to charge them so it's not as bright as normal um, we got some peas here in the flowers here and there and some in this flower. so the flowers have peas in them this one doesn't but that one has a couple and we have some in this flower here and there got more over here and in this flower we've got peas and a couple up here and there and just in in the general flower area so there's just a couple more up there we've got number nine which is the green and it's like a greenish yellow and let's see we got that in the leaf the leaves down here and so there's just a little bit right in those spots and number okay that i don't know number 40 it's ab 959 so that's the blue it's kind of like a it's right here in the eye so the blue one of the blue layers in the eye has that ab color and you also get it in the the leaves of some of these flowers so you get it here in this one you get it in this one and here and there and any down here no just those and then the for the um, rhinestones it's we've got a yellow green as well that goes in with this the leaves so there's just a few of those and then oh that's a symbol i've never seen before there's a blue and then a pink so the blue it goes uh the outer blue layer of the eye so that's going to be a rhinestone light blue it looks like yeah and it's yeah on the outside of this eye as well and do we have it in any of the flowers or the koala itself i don't see any um then the pink which is the last special drill is going to be hard to find <laughs> i don't know i don't know where that symbol is okay it's it's pretty pretty uh there's quite a bit of them well a f quite a good amount of it up here in the flower 
on this one and then it goes into this one and I think those are the only two that have this rhinestone color yeah but this is one of the beginner kits um, they do have some really really big ones um, square round I think they have square I don't remember because I don't I normally don't order square but I'm back to ordering squares again like I said this one's round um, it's a little easier to do the have mixed with rhin, um, rhinestone regular drills and AB drills when you are doing a round because um, round rhinestones are a lot easier to come by than the square ones but I, I personally love working with rhinestones whether it's square or round so this is a cute in-between um, project. Some people call them snacks. Um, I just call it an in-between or party size. Even though there are 43 colors, this would be, you know, something that wouldn't take too long to do. And it's perfect for, you know, a palette cleanser, I guess you could say, in between doing a couple of larger um, projects, at least for myself. That's what I do. All right, so let me pull out these drills real quick and we'll look at them and then I get to show you what's in the other package. And I am excited to show that to you because it's new, new to me. I've never done it before. All right, so here are our rhinestones. There's the pink. And we've got the blue, this, so that's going to be in the eye. And then this is the leaf, going to be in the leaves. And then I believe this one, number 40, um, that is part of the eye as well, the inner blue coloring. Okay, it wants to focus on the background. And then here was part of the leaves too. You see the AB coating on there? AB is short for Aurora Borealis because the way the color shifts on them. It reminds us of the Northern Lights. So it gives your diamond painting like a zap sparkle where it's placed on your canvas. And then the pink where you're gonna find the most of these, which was the um, in the flowers, there's the pink AB. And the white. You can see the color shifting when you when I bring it up to the light there, or the camera. And here's our other colors. We got some browns. We got some greenish, turquoise green, a pink. And See, the, I like it when they put them in these Ziploc baggies because then you don't just get like an overabundance of color that you don't need. And here's another white color. 3756, that's kind of got a green tint to it. And then here's that uh, dark gray. And we got a peachy color. And more pink salmon color pink and another pink and green big bag of pink here this might be the background I think Let's see number one yeah 963 yep that is the background one of the one of the background colors because there are several different pink shades in that background and here's another pink halfway through them what else we got some brown another blue oh look at that pretty reddish like oh what's that I can't think of the name of the color um, it's, it's not salmon it's um and there's that 819 it's like um I don't know word won't come to me <laughs> tell me down below if you can think of the name I'm thinking of for this pink color I, I just, it won't come to me. Let me know about it. Yeah. And more pink. Light gray. More pink. 
pink. That's more of a salmon color. Lots of pinks. Look at all those pink colors. Little bits here. More grays. I love me a pink and blue koala bear. It's so adorable. And more little bits in this bag. Big bags of gray. And then we have our big bag of black, which is, I don't see a lot of black on here. So it's the outline of the whole thing. So that's why there's a lot of them. All right. So there's, there's our cute little koala. Thank you very much Craftedly for sending that to me so I could show everyone that watches my channel what your new boxes look like. All right, let's set that to the side and open up this box here. I love their tape. It's got their name on it. Ugh, okay. And they always send a handwritten note with their orders. So personal. And this says, Howdy, thanks so much for your order. Y'all mean the world to us. Seriously, we are blown away at the love we've been shown. We appreciate you and your support. Much love. Craftably yours, Amy, aka Crafty Wife. Yes. And she is she her and Michael are the nicest people too. I mean, I absolutely love them. And I'll do whatever I can to support them as long as it's within my means. So, let's look and see what this is. Can you see what it is? It says dollhouse on it. Let me get rid of that box. I've never done one of these before, but I've seen them. And I was so leery on trying these out. I didn't know if I wanted to. But I'm going to finally give it a shot. Okay. This is one that, uh, this is one I purchased that has a desk cover. And what it is, is you put this stuff together, all the miniature, it's a miniature thing. You put it all together and then um, you can display it somewhere. And then it's good to have the desk cover so that it keeps the dust off of it. All right, so we got lots of stuff in here. So this is our instructions, and it looks like it's going to be in English, which is good. Try buying them from overseas, and you're going to get them with um, only Chinese, and you'll need to get one of those translator things to figure out what it says. So this is really thick wood. This Okay, so this is going to be the outer walls, I'm guessing. So... I don't know if I have to paint them or put wallpaper. I don't know, but they give you all the instructions. But this is, you know, it's press board, it looks like. But it's thick and heavy. And then, you know, you've got... Oh, this is the dust cover. I thought a dust cover was the a dome. <laughs> Goes to show what I know. What a dust cover is. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I'm getting over being sick. So this is the... I don't understand what a dust cover is. Maybe you can tell me? Oh, I think it it, it is. <laughs> I'm silly. This is just the paper, the coating that goes over it. It is, it's like um, plastic. Pla uh, it's like plastic. Plastic sheeting. And you have to take this, you take this layer off and it so that you can put it together over it. So yeah, there's a couple of pieces for that. Yeah, okay. And then these are the pieces to the house. I don't know if this one lights up, but some of them light up. And, oh, that's so cute. We got the place for the window. And, oh my gosh, there's so many pieces. This is so, no, you don't have to paint it. It is white. So this, is, I'm guessing, yeah. It'll, it'll tell you all that stuff. Yeah, here's another piece of the dust cover. And more pieces 
that you have to figure out. So you have to put everything together in these things. So this has tiny little pieces to put together. So this looks like a ladder, but that's the railing. There's a railing right here. So it's like a, a whole apartment. It's got a bedroom, a piano, and then it's got your living room. It's not a whole apartment, but it's, you know, a partial apartment. So yeah, you have to glue them together. They give you the glue and everything. So here's the glue that it comes with. Two, two different bottles. I don't know if they makes a difference what's what. And wow, they even give you like an X-Acto knife, a pair of tweezers, the curvy tweezers, even scissors, and a little kind of plastic floppy ruler. That's cool. I prefer to use um, my tweezers, which are these. And as you can see, I've got my little squishy on there. I love to use them rather than these um, metal ones. They're not as pointy either. So I'll be using those to do it with. I might do some filming um, craft with me or where I'm doing that while I film a video. Maybe I'll do it live or something. I don't know. I I'll have to see how confident I feel in doing this. but look at this okay it's got separate baggies for each thing oh my gosh look at all this okay so at least i don't have to put like the little potted plant together it's um already together but and then you got your little kitty cat look there's a little kitty cat in there you got little parts plants and stuff and i guess this goes outside the window because i don't see it in the actual Thing. and then oh yeah it does light up because see here's the battery pack with the lights and sandpaper because you're going to want to sand down some of this wood doesn't look like there's enough pieces to do this whole thing but I'm guessing it is so you got little pieces of cloth and foam that you've got to use to make this stuff so the bed's not already a bed see and here's little these are going to turn into something lamps or yeah like a lamp and chain the chain goes to yeah so all these pieces will turn into you know this in the end oh there's the picture yeah there's a small picture but it'll turn into that in the end i love the little books on the shelf but look you get this all this cloth you have to make the bed I mean, it comes with the wood pieces, but you have to actually cut the pieces out. And, oh my gosh. And it's got batting for the quilt. Oh my goodness. And then little fiber fill. Little bag of that. That's so adorable. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's another one that I want. I really, really want to get. And I'm not sure about getting it because of the fact that it, you know, it, it's from China. And I, I'm afraid if I buy it, I'm not going to be able to read the instructions. And, but it's really, really, really cute. Um, I might just wait to see if Craftably gets that particular kit in, in their store. And I might just buy it from them because, um, honestly, they'll probably be able to get one that's in English. And... I'd rather do English and I'm, I'm hoping this is in English okay let's open this up and look and then I'm gonna have to clean up this mess so I can check it out oh okay so here's the instruction pamphlet yep it is in English good so it's step by step everything um, you have to read certain things before you assemble it and oh it's got a little laptop look at that and headphones so you can see more of the detail in here there's books photo frames so some of this stuff is actually in here um you have to cut them out oh like the piano um i guess you have to glue that stuff and the the, the rug and the wall wallpaper i think that 
Uh, oh, that's the floor underneath the piano. And this is the wallpaper. And there's more wallpaper here. And this must, might, oh yeah, this is underneath the banister here. So they're not stickers, but there's the laptop. There's our laptop right there. <laughs> but more pictures for the walls. And I think these are books. Yep, these are the books. So it'll show you how to make them into books. And then here's more flooring. And it's got the little outline where the piano goes. Oh, that is so cool. Oh my gosh, this is this is gonna be so interesting. <laughs> but I think this is this is the actual size of things. So you can line things up to make sure you have it all maybe i don't know i'll learn as we go as i go on this and i might get frustrated which you know i probably will get frustrated because when you're learning something new there's always that learning curve and <laughs> i'm not immune to it yeah so this shows you all the materials and i don't know that they are the exact size as what's in the bags. So, yeah, no, these are not exact exact size. But I think on this printout, they are the exact size. But this is going to be fun. And I'm sure it's not going to be a quick thing to do. It's going to take me quite a while. Um, I'll come to it here and there and do it every so often, but it's not like I'm going to be able to sit down in one sitting and do the whole thing. But I love how they give you the look at this for the sofa, the step-by-step -step instructions on exactly how to start it and wrap it around. I'm guessing when it says attach, you need a glue. Um, it doesn't say... Oh, yep, it says paste. So, yeah. And then it gives you step by step on what to do for the whole thing. And then you have a sofa. And that is just too cute. I mean, it's going to be adorable. So, I can't wait to start this. And they have a few different kits. They have like an off brand, and then they have another name brand. I think this was one of the off brand. Um, kits but w the one I really really wanted they're sold out of so um, just keep checking back if they don't have the one you want and eventually you will be able to get it hopefully they restock them because um, um, I think the group of us that that I'm doing this with we uh, most of us bought them at um, from their um, from craftably because um, it's just a bunch of us from the re last retreat. We um, were in a group chat. We were all talking about doing something new and different. And so a lot of people are doing the miniatures and craftably just happened to have them. So there we go. Check them out. Um, again, check the description box. I will have links for you. And I hope you enjoyed this video. It is a little bit different than what you're used to. Um, coming from my channel so yeah I hope you enjoyed it let me know if you've ever done miniature houses before and what you think of them and do you think I'm gonna have the patience for it what do you think let me know I will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching and um, take care have fun crafting and don't forget to sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do because I'm going to sparkle while I'm doing this too. <laughs> Take care everyone. Bye.